So yesterday we have started with uh, hybrid parameters, H parameters. Uh, so uh, for this two port network, uh, if V1 and I1 are the current and voltages at port one and V2, I2 are the voltage and currents at port two, then if we express this V1 as a function of I1 and V2, and I2 as a function of I1 and V2. So both V1 and I2 as a function of I1 and V2, if we are writing that, then from that we'll be able to find the H parameters, coefficients of I1 in first equation will be H11, coefficient of V2 will be H12, and coefficient of I1 in second equation will be H21, and coefficient of V2 will be H22. So this we have seen yesterday. And then the equivalent circuit and uh, how to find this hybrid parameters. That also we have seen. And uh, what these parameters are called as input impedance H11 output impedance uh, admittance as H22, H21 as forward current gain and H12 as reverse voltage gain. Okay. Then we have started with this numerical. Uh, it's a T network given to you having resistance values as 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 6 ohm. Find H parameters of these. So first step is you first assume that V1 and I1 are the voltages and currents at port 1, whereas V2 and I2 are the voltage and currents at port 2. Okay, then you redraw this circuit diagram, show this V1, I1, V2, I2, and now uh, you, um, you can use any uh, method to simplify this uh, circuit and uh, find out the relations between V1, I1, V2 and I2 in such a way that V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 that is equation 1 and I2 equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2. So these are the two standard equations of uh, H parameters and from these you can calculate the values of H11 to H22. So all these values you can find out from this equation if you will from both the equations if you will put value of V2 at 0. So in order to make V2 0 you have to short circuit this port. So port 2 will be shorted at that time this V2 will be 0. So as V2 will be 0 these two terms will vanish. So H11 you can calculate and H21 you can calculate from this that is the ratio of V1 and I1 and ratio of I2 and I1. Okay. Similarly, if you will open circuit this input port, then I1 will become 0. So as I1 is 0, these two terms in these equations will be 0. So the relation uh, of V1 and V2, you can find out H12, H12 as V1 by V2 and H22 as I2 by V2. So uh, these are the standard equations from this. So case one, first port two is shorted. So I have short circuited port two. And uh, if you will short circuit this port, V2 will become zero. Now V1, I1 and I2 are present in the circuit. So from this circuit, I1 you can calculate from uh, the total equivalent resistance if you will calculate then it will be V1 by R equivalent will be I1. So in order to calculate equivalent resistance first uh, assume that current is flowing in this path. Uh, so current is divided here 
so this 3 ohm and 6 ohm they are in parallel and in series with 2 ohm so you can calculate this r equivalent so v1 by 4 is equal to i1 so from this v1 upon i1 that is nothing but your h11 it is equal to 4 so 4 ohm will be value of h11 then from this circuit again i2 current if you want to find current through this 3 ohm branch then that 3 ohm branch current you can calculate it by the current division rule so that is total current i1 into 6 ohm that is opposite branch resistance divided by 6 plus 3 so the current in 3 ohm if uh, by current division rule the current which you are finding is exactly in the opposite direction of i2 so that's why we have taken here minus i2 that is equal to i1 into 6 upon 6 plus 3 so that is i2 equal to minus 6 by 9 i1 if you will take ratio of i2 by i1 that is nothing but your h22 h21 sorry that is equal to minus 0.66 so as it is a current gain so there won't be any uh, unit for this okay then case 2 case 2 we want to make i1 at 0 so to, in order to make i1 at 0 will open circuit port 1 so if you will open circuit this port i1 will become 0 v1 will be present then i2 and v2 are present in the circuit okay so uh, this circuit you can simplify so um, using mesh analysis you can simplify so i have assumed these two currents as i1 and i2 in these directions so i1 is zero here so from this you apply kvl to mesh 2 and mesh 1 so for both the meshes if you will apply kvl you will get equations of v1 and v2 so if you will apply uh, kvl to mesh 2 that will be v2 is equal to 3 times i2 plus 6 times i2 so that is equal to 9 i2 so v2 is equal to 9 i2 so if you will take ratio of i2 and v2 so i2 upon v2 will be 1 upon 9 and that is nothing but h22 okay then apply kvl to mesh 1 as i1 is 0 so v1 is equal to 2 ohm into 0 plus 6 ohm into 0 plus i2 so that is 6 i2 so v1 is equal to 6 i2 is another equation now your h12 h12 will is the uh, reverse voltage gain that is ratio of v1 and v2 so h12 is v1 by v2 at i1 equal to 0 so v1 from second equation you know that is 6 i2 and v2 you know from this equation first equation that is v2 is equal to 9 i2 so substitute these values of v1 and v2 so that is 6 i2 divided by 9 i2 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 will be cancelled so it is 6 by 9 will be h12 so that is equal to 0.66 again uh, this is also a ratio of voltage so it is voltage gain so there is no unit for this particular ratio okay then this is uh, by first method we have calculated this now second method applying kvl to both the meshes so we have assumed initially the voltages and currents at port 1 they are v1 i1 and for port 2 they are v2 and i2 now from this circuit diagram you apply kvl and um, write down the mesh equations and after this uh, writing these mesh equations you rearrange those equations in such a way that it will be v1 as a function of i1 and v2 and i2 also as a function of i1 and v2 so if you will rearrange these equations then the coefficients of this i1 and v2 will represent the h parameters okay so after applying kvl to loop 1 and loop 2 you will get 
these equations v1 is equal to 8 i1 plus 6 i2 and v2 is equal to 6 i1 plus 9 i2 so these are the two equations now these two equations we want that we should write it as i2 as a function of i1 and v2 so from second equation we can if you will rearrange this equation you can write i2 as a function of v2 and i1 so this second equation will give you uh, this relation of i2 i1 and v2 if you will substitute this value of i2 of equation 2 in equation 1 then you will be able to find the relation between v1 i1 and v2 so that is v1 as a function of i1 and v2 we can write okay so from this we can calculate the h parameters uh, from the by comparing these to the standard equations okay so first rearrange this equation number 2 so that we'll be able to find the value of i2 so after rearranging this 9 i2 equal to v2 minus 6 i1 and i2 will be equal to divided by 9 so it will be minus 6 by 9 i1 plus 1 by 9 v2 so this is let us say equation number 3 and put this equation number 3 that is value of i2 in equation number 1 so that it will be v1 is equal to 8 i1 plus 6 into bracket this value of i2 okay now uh, after simplification that is adding combining all the terms of i1 together i2 uh, v2 together and v1 together we'll get the equation as v1 is equal to 8 i1 minus 4 i1 plus 6 by 9 v2 that is 4 i1 plus 6 by 9 v2 so this is let us say equation number 4 now if you will compare this equation number 3 and 4 with the standard equations of h parameter you will find that this coefficient of this equation will give you the value of h21 and this is h22 whereas this coefficient is h11 and this coefficient is h12 so from this h11 is equal to 4 ohm h12 is equal to 0.66 H two one is equal to minus point six six and H two two is equal to point one one more. So these are the answers. Again, another method you can find the Z parameters by any method and then convert them in H parameters using standard uh, relations between uh, H parameter and Z. Okay. So after applying KVL. to this in this method uh, method 2 these two equations you have got v1 in terms of i1 and i2 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so we know that the coefficients of this i1 and i2 they represent the z parameters okay so from this you can write the value of z11 as 8 z12 as 6 z21 as 6 and z22 as 9 so um these z values z parameter values are now known to you from this you can find out h11 as determinant of z divided by z22 h12 is equal to z12 upon z22 h21 is equal to minus z21 upon z22 and h22 is equal to 1 upon z22 so now you substitute these values here and this determinant you can calculate it from the cross multiplication so that is 8 into 9 minus 6 into 6 so that is 72 minus 36 divided by z22 is 9 so value of h11 is coming as 4 ohm h12 as the ratio of z12 and z22 that is 6 by 9 so that is 0.66 and h21 is equal to minus z21 upon z22 so that is minus 6 by 9 so that is minus 0.66 and h22 is equal to 1 upon z22 that is 1 upon 9 so that is equal to 0.11 more so these are the values of this now from this you can um, find out whether the network is reciprocal uh, 
um, symmetric or asymmetric that you can find out so if these values of h1 2 is equal to minus h21 then you can say it is a reciprocal network then uh, i have simulated the same circuit in this tinkercad this is the link you can put this link in your browser window so that these circuits will appear so uh, if you want to find these h parameters then you have to short circuit port 2 and apply voltage at port 1 and uh, read this voltmeter and uh, ammeter readings from this you can take a ratio and find out values of h11 and h21 okay then in order to keep i1 at 0 you will open circuit this input port and to this port 2 you will apply 10 volt or any voltage source and uh, note down the readings of voltmeter and ammeter and from this you can take a ratio of this and uh, you will be able to find h12 and h23 and uh, from simulation results whatever the values i have got same values we have got theoretically also so that means it is matching uh, same simulation i have done in another method another uh, simulation software is giving also the same result okay then uh, next numerical find h parameters of this particular network which is given to you so procedure is same you apply kvl to both the meshes i have assumed first currents and voltages as uh, for port 1 and 2 as v1 i1 and v2 i2 and then these are the same mesh currents or loop currents then apply kvl to both the meshes it will give me these relations as v1 is equal to 3 i1 plus 10 into i1 plus i2 rearranging this uh, v1 is equal to 13 i1 plus 10 i2 let us say this is equation 1 and applying kvl to second loop you will get v2 plus 4 i1 is equal to 2 i2 plus 10 into i2 plus i1 okay so simplifying this you will get this relation as v2 is equal to 6 i1 plus 12 i2 okay so let us say this is equation number 2 now these two equations are with you now you have to rearrange these equations so in such a way that this second equation we know that if we will uh, take i2 on uh, one side and uh, we can find the relation between i2 and in terms of v1 and uh, sorry v2 and i1 so re uh, rearrange this equation too so that i2 is equal to this 6 i1 you take on this side and divide this equation by 12 so it will be i2 equal to minus 6 by 12 i1 plus 1 by 12 v2 so this is one equation so i have further simplified this so i2 is equal to minus 0.5 i1 plus 0 0.08 v2 so let us say this is equation number three now this equation number three that is value of i2 you substitute in equation number one so that you will get the relation between uh, i1 v1 and v2 okay so v1 is equal to 13 i1 plus 10 times i2 so i2 uh, we have substituted from this equation number three so after substituting and simplifying we'll get this equation as v1 is equal to 8 i1 plus 0.8 v2 so this is equation number say let us say four now you compare these equations three and four with the standard uh, equation of h parameters so that the coefficient of this will uh, represent h21 this will be h22 coefficient of this is h11 and this is h12 so from this we'll get the value of h11 as 8 ohm h12 as 0.8 h21 as minus 0.5 and h22 as 0.08 ohm so same circuit i have simulated in tinkercad this is the uh, link you can put this in your browser window and uh, you'll get this particular circuit okay so as the dependent source is there 
this dependent source i have shown here and uh, taken the readings of v1 and i1 and v2 and i2 or these two voltmeters and ammeters and from these i have taken this ratio and got the values of h parameters so the same values i have calculated and same values we are getting it by this simulation also so it is decided that uh, in uh, your examination this dependent source problems numericals will not be there but if by chance if it is there if this is the way to solve that okay then uh, next example a simple network is given uh, find h parameters of this support network so um, initially first step is you assume voltages and currents as v1 i1 and v2 i2 for both the ports port 1 and port 2 then applying kvl will get these two equations v1 as 30 i1 plus 20 i2 and v2 as uh, equal to 20 i1 plus 20 i2 okay now rearrange these equations so second equation if you will rearrange you will be able to find Uh, value of i2 in terms of v2 and i1 so rearranging to i2 is equal to minus i1 plus 0.05 v2 say this is equation number 3 now substitute this value of i2 from equation 3 in equation 1 so that you will get v1 is equal to 10 i1 plus v1 now from this 3 and 4 equations 3 and 4 if you will compare it with the standard equations of h parameter then you will be find uh, you will be able to find the values of h parameters as this h11 as 10 h12 as 1 then h21 as 1 minus 1 and h22 as 0.05 okay then i have simulated this circuit in tinkercad this is the link provided to you you can put it in your browser window and you will get the same circuit i have sorted once this port 2 and taken readings of v1 i1 v2 i2 from this voltmeter ammeter and taken the ratio to get h11 and h21 okay for uh, finding another two parameters h12 and h22 i have to keep this port 1 as open circuit so that this current i1 will become zero and then applied voltage at port 2 and noted the values of v1 i1 v2 i2 and then found out this ratios uh, h12 and h22 okay same values i have got uh, same as that of the calculated one now next circuit next numerical find h parameters of this so using node analysis now i have solved this tackle this problem so using node analysis applying kcl at junctions 1 and 2 junction voltages uh, i have assumed first uh, this is a pi network so same voltages v1 and v2 will appear at the both the junctions uh, which are the non reference junctions and uh, reference junction is your uh, v1 uh, v0 that is at 0 volt okay then um, applying kcl at junctions 1 and 2 will get two equations as i1 is equal to 0.25 v1 minus 0.2 v2 and i2 equal to minus 0.2 v1 plus 0.267 v2 so these are let us say equations 1 and 2 now equation 1 and 2 if you will compare with this equations of standard uh, equation of uh, h parameter then we have to uh, rearrange equation 1 so that v1 is equal to this uh, 1 upon 0.25 i1 plus 0.2 divided by 0.25 v2 so that means v1 is equal to 4 i1 plus 0.8 v2 okay so this is equation number 5 and equation 4 uh, you put this equation 5 that is value of v1 in 
this equation number uh, two, so that you will get I two equal to minus point two into this value of V one from equation five plus point two six seven V two. Okay, then simplify this equation so that you will get I two equal to minus point eight I one plus point one zero seven V two. So this is equation number six. Now comparing equations three and four, this three and four, which are the standard equations of H parameters, you compare it with equation number five and six, so that you'll get the um, values of H parameters as H one one as four, H one two as point eight, H two one as minus point eight, and H two two as point one, point one zero seven. Okay. So in this way, you will be able to find the values of H parameters. Then I have again uh, implemented this circuit in uh, Tinkercad. So this is the link. You can put it in your uh, browser window so that you will be able to uh, see this circuit. And um, in the same way, we have to tackle that short circuit port two. And measure uh, uh, the readings. Take readings of V1, V2, I1, I2. Take the ratio. You will be able to find H11 and H21. Then keep this H uh, port one open circuit so that this I1 will become zero. And then we apply voltage at port two. Note down readings of V1, I1, V2, I2, and take the ratio so that you will be able to find H12 and H22. Okay, and uh, the same values I have got from this uh, simulation also. So that's all for H parameters. Okay, now next is the A B C D parameters or transmission uh, parameters. Okay, so for this two port network, again we have assumed for this port one, uh, one one dash. Voltage and currents they are V1 I1 and uh, for port two voltages and currents are V2 and I2. Okay, now you have to find relation between V1 uh, relation of V1 and I1 in terms of V2 and minus I2. If you will be able to find that relation, then these are the ABCD parameters. So V1 uh, the standard equation for this ABCD parameters are V1 is equal to A into V2 plus B into minus I2, and uh, second equation is here. I1 is equal to C into V2 plus D into minus I2. So these are the two equations in linear form. Same you can write it in the matrix form as this. This is the uh, column matrix of V1 I1. This is the Uh, matrix of A B C D parameter, and this is the column matrix of V two and I two. So from these equations, if you will put the value of I two at zero, then B and D parameters will become zero, and you can uh, you will be able to find values of A and C parameters as A is equal to V one by V two, and C is equal to I one by V two. If you will substitute value of V two at zero in these two equations, you will be able to find the values of B and D, that is B parameter and D parameter. So B is equal to uh, V one by I two, and D is equal to I one by I two. Okay. So these parameters you can find out. So again. um how to find these parameters first you have to make i2 at zero so in order to make i2 at zero you have to open circuit the output port so if you will open circuit the output port that is port 2 then you will be able to find a and c parameter so a is equal to v1 by v2 that is reverse voltage ratio then c is equal to i1 by v2 that is transfer admittance and b and uh, d these two parameters you can um, find out by making 
output as a short circuited because we want to make v2 as zero so v parameter it is v1 by minus i2 and d parameter is minus i1 by i2 so this is uh, b is referred as transfer impedance and uh, d is referred as reverse current ratio okay then again we we'll go for the numericals so find uh, a b c d parameters of the given circuit again for both these ports we have assumed voltages and currents as v1 i1 and v2 i2 and comparing it with the standard uh, equations of a b c d parameter so these are the two equations of uh, standard equations of a b c d parameter as v1 is equal to a v2 minus b i2 and i1 is equal to c v2 minus d i2 okay now apply kvl to mesh 1 and 2 so for this both these meshes if you will apply kvl you will get these equations as uh, v1 is equal to 12 i1 plus 10 i2 this is equation let us say 3 and if you will apply kvl to second loop you will get this equation as v2 is equal to 10 i1 plus 14 i2 let's say this is equation number 4 now you have to rearrange these equations in such a way that it will be the relations of v1 and i1 in terms of v2 and i2 and i2 will be uh, the minus of i2 that coefficient is b minus of i2 coefficient is b okay so rearranging equation 4 we will get i1 is equal to 1 by 10 v2 minus 14 by 10 i2 so that is i1 is equal to 0.1 v2 minus 1.4 i2 say this is equation number 5 now put this value of i1 from equation 5 in equation number 3 so that you will get v1 is equal to 12 times this i1 i have substituted from 5 plus 10 i2 so v1 is equal to 1.2 v2 minus 6.8 i2 so let us say this is equation number 6 now you compare these equations 1 and 2 with equation 5 and 6 so that you will get the values of a b c d parameters as a is equal to 1.2 b is equal to 6.8 c is equal to 0.1 and d is equal to 1.4 b is this uh, impedance uh, that is v by i so it is its unit is ohm and c is uh, reverse of that so it at it, that is the admittance so its unit is more and uh, other two are the uh, voltage and current uh, ratios so there won't be any limit for a and d parameter okay then this circuit again uh, i have simulated it in tinkercad the link i have given to you you can put it in your browser window so that you will get this circuits now what um, we have to do in a b c d parameter once we have to keep port to one as open circuit and once we have to short circuit this port to so and applying the supply voltage or the input to port one then note down the readings of v1 i1 and uh, v2 i2 and uh, then uh, you will be able to uh, get this ratios if you will take you will be able to find this values of a b c d parameters and uh, the same values uh, we have got it from the analytical results also so uh, before uh, starting this uh, i don't think uh, time will permit us so we'll uh, stop here and uh, stop recording first